in the airlock in two minutes. Here, Roger. Let me help you with your helmet. Don't bother. I can do it myself. All right, hot shot. Have it your way. And listen, you be careful you don't fall off the hull. I don't feel like fishing you out of space. All right, boys. Now that you've got your fish bowls on, check your oxygen tanks for twice normal pressure. Oxygen check. Okay, sir. Okay, here too, sir. Right. Let's go. Open the portal, Astro. Inner portal closed, sir. Equalize pressure. Pressure equalized, sir. Open the outer portal, Manning. Aye, sir. Well, that's Open, cool. sir. Hook up your static lines as soon as you're on the hull. And remember, keep your magnetic boots flat against the hull. Hello, Astro. Manning, check in. What's taking so long? What's going on out there, Roger? We're playing marbles with these pieces of space junk. Come back to your beauty nap and don't bother us. Come on, come on, that plane, Sastro. And then those adapters. Right, sir. But what's happened to all the space junk? Seems awful empty out here. Yeah, and I've drifted through, through the worst of it. Well, I don't know. It's too quiet after all the battering we took. Hand me that number three adapter, Astro. Yes, sir. You know, I'll never get used to working upside down like this and not falling off. Yeah, free fall has its advantages. And one of them is having no weight. That was gone. Astro, get down, quick. Here comes the meteor. Get down. What the craters of Luna, that was a close one. Yes, too close. Now, listen, Manning, if you'd stop gassing so much and keep your eyes peeled with... Roger. Captain Strong, the static line is torn. Look, he's off the ship. He's drifting out into space. We'll return to the exciting adventures of Tom Corbett, Space Cadet, in just a moment, so stand by. It's here. Yes, it's here. A brand new, exciting new premium in every package of Kellogg's Pep. And it's waiting for you right this instant at your grocery store. That's right, boys and girls. In every box of Kellogg's Pep, there's a magic moving picture eye. The magic eye is a gleaming plastic disc. And right in the center, there's an exciting picture. When you tilt the magic eye back and forth, the picture actually starts moving. There are pictures of planes. Trains. And TV and movie stars like Tom Corbett and Bob Hope of Paramount Pictures and the Bob Hope Show. Yes, sir. Every magic eye has a picture that's packed with famous people in action. You can collect as many as 16 different magic eyes. 16 different pictures all together. So easy to get, too. There's one waiting for you now, free, at no extra cost, in every single package of Kellogg's Pep. You'd better start your collection today. Remember, for your magic eye, ask Mom to buy P-E-P. Pep. Polaris making emergency repairs in space, Roger Manning is suddenly swept off and sent spinning helplessly into the void. Look, Captain Strong, there he goes, drifting down along the hull. Listen, Astro, call Tom. Quick, tell him to bring out a body jet. Hurry, I'm going down to the fins. Maybe I can catch him. Right, sir. Hello, Tom. Tom, come in. Right here, Astro. How's it going? Listen, Roger's been knocked off the ship. He's drifting out in space. Captain Strong wants you to bring out a body jet. Oh, no. By the time I suit up and get out there with a body jet, Roger will be out of sight. We'll, we'll never find him. What else can we do? Wait. I've got an idea. I'm going to maneuver the ship toward him. You what? Hang on out there. I'm firing up our rocket. Oh, brother. 
Spaceman's luck, pal. Astro, who fired our rockets? Tom did, sir. He's maneuvering the ship toward Roger. He figures it's Roger's only chance. Well, that's, that's risky. He might... But you might fry Roger in the exhaust blast. No, but maybe... Maybe it's the better gamble. Better hold on, sir. I'm starting to cut around. Hello, Tom. Come in. Hey, sir. Watch your heading. Don't over control or, or you'll spin us completely around. No, it's doing my best. Now, ease off now. Hold her straight and level as you can. You're heading right for Roger. I know. And we'll do it. You cut your power. Now, let her drift. Right, sir. Captain Strong, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him by at least ten feet. Blast it. Tom. Tom, quick. Oh, wait a minute, sir. Play out my static line. I'm going to push off and try to grab him. Wait, this, sir. Hang on to my line, sir. Here I go. <laughs> Just suffering from shock. Those blood pills will fix him up. Oh. Hey, he's coming out of it. What's going on here? What am I doing in this bunk? You were knocked off the ship, Roger. Me? Uh-huh, and we had to fish you out of space. Ah, you're full of media dust. Well, it's the truth, Manning. If it hadn't been for Tom and Astro, you'd be a part of the asteroid belt now. Just another piece of space junk. Yeah, I suppose I would. And Tom and Astro, they... That's right, Manning. Now, you just rest there. I'm going topside and start plotting our course out of here. Tom, Astro, you stay with him. I don't need anybody staying with me. I'm okay. You're not getting out of that bunk. We need all personnel in top condition. Or don't forget, we still have to find Captain Parker. I'll see you later, boys. <clears throat> you want something, Roger? No, uh, just, uh... Well, tell me something. Yeah, what did we have that fight about? Uh-oh, here we go again. <laughs> Does it make that much difference, Roger? No, that's what I was driving at. Doesn't make any difference at all. And, uh, well, I'm not very good at saying these things, but what you guys did for me and all, I, uh... Oh, well... cut it out, will you, Manning? You'll have me crying. Yeah, relax and act natural, will you? I go blow your jets. <laughs> Don't miss the next action-packed adventure with Tom Corbett and the Space Cadets on Thursday when the search for Captain Parker and the missing rocket scout is resumed and the boys rocket into danger. Tune in same time, same station for the next thrilling interplanetary adventure with... Brought to you by Kellogg's Pep, the build-up wheat cereal. Tom Corbett, Space Cadet, starring Frankie Thomas, can also be seen on television and appears in the comic sections of many of America's leading newspapers. Look for it daily and in weekend editions. Featured in the cast are Al Markham as Astro, Jan Merlin as Roger Manning, and Edward Bryce as Captain Strong. Today's program was written by Jack Weinstock and Willie Gilbert, directed by Drex Hines. Jackson Beck speaking. Kellogg's Raisin Bran has a secret. Kellogg's Raisin Bran has a secret. And what a secret. In Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the tasty raisins are dipped in honeycomb. That means plumper, more tender raisins, along with delicious golden crisp bran flakes, both fruit and cereal, all in one box. 
and no other raisin brand but Kellogg's gives you the tender goodness of raisins dipped in honeycomb. That's Kellogg's secret. So for your breakfast, make sure you get Kellogg's because... Kellogg's Raisin Bran has a secret. This program has come to you from New York. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. You are listening to the Old Time Radio Hour with your host, Justine Ward. We broadcast each week over the World Wide Web. Luckily, our listeners don't have to wait for days to hear the thrilling conclusion to this two-part adventure. We have part two of Tom Corbett's Space Cadet, The Missing Rocket Scout, first broadcast January 10, 1952, on ABC. Kellogg's Pep, the build-up wheat cereal, invites you to rocket into the future with Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. Stand by to raise ship. Blast off, minus five, four, three... Two, one, zero! As roaring rockets blast off to distant planets and far flung stars, we take you to the age of the conquest of space with Tom Corbett, Space Cadet! Attention crew, we are clear of the asteroid belt. Resume scanner watch for Captain Parker and the missing rocket scout. Attention crew, attention crew. Manned by Captain Strong and his crew of space cadets, the rocket cruiser Polaris blasts through the blackness of the void, combing millions of miles of empty space for the missing rocket scout 4J9, unreported for almost three days. On the control deck, Tom Corbett and his skipper guide their powerful ship on an erratic search orbit, tracking down every target on the radar scanners, checking every wandering meteor. But as the hours pass, the search seems to grow more and more hopeless, and the reports from Roger Manning on the radar bridge topside become more and more discouraging. Radar bridge control deck. Control deck I. Go ahead, Roger. Nothing in this area, Tom. Not even space dust. Did we cover this whole sector? Backwards and forwards and inside out. All right. Stand by for orders. Captain Strong. I heard him, Tom. Let me speak to him. Right, sir. Here's the skipper, Rog. Hello, Manning. Uh, yes, sir. Where are we now? Approaching the orbit of Jupiter, three degrees above the plane of the ecliptic. All right. Rack up a new heading toward Ganymede and get it down to me. Uh, yes, sir. And two shakes of a space worm's eyelash. Radar bridge out. Tom, call Astro and tell him to cut speed to one quarter. Aye, sir. Control deck to power deck. Check in. Power deck, all right. These are off, Astro. One quarter space speed. We found anything? No, Astro. Preparing to change course. Oh, okay. One quarter it is. One quarter as ordered, Tom. Right. But listen, Tom. What? How long are we going to look for this needle? Space is an awful big haystack. I know. But I guess we'll search until we're sure of one thing. What's that? That Captain Parker is either alive or dead. Red feels that further search is useless. He's ordering us back to Earth. Oh, no, sir. Not yet. Orders are orders, Tom. Notify Manning to plot a new course back to Earth. Yes, sir. Radar bridge control deck. Control deck I. What is it, Rog? I was just going to call you. Listen, Tom, I don't know whether I'm seeing spots in front of my eyes or not, but I'm getting a blip on my scanner. Well, you've had them before. Probably a meteorite. Just a space hole. Uh, Manning, feed it down here on the control deck screen. Let me have a look at it. Hi, right, sir. Here it is. That's no meteor. That space hobo is a jet boat. A jet boat? It must belong to the rocket scout. Right. And Captain Parker must be on it. Break out the spacesuits, Tom. You and I are blasting over there in our own jet boat to take a look. Steady, Tom. We're coming alongside. Give me braking rockets full. Braking rockets full. Two degrees starboard. Aye, sir. Steady now. Coming up on her. Magnetic couplers. Nice 
Nice work, Tom. Our airlocks are in conjunction. Cut all jet power. All ready to go aboard, sir. Right. I'll open the airlocks. 